Hey guys, hey guys, good morning. It is Wednesday, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to come to you really quickly and just tell you how I'm doing so far. Um, I didn't show you any of my meals that I ate like last night or anything because I ate the same thing, a piece of that cheesy chicken. And then I just had a side salad with that. Um, of course, I did have my Carb Smart little chocolate popsicle thing. I don't know what you call them. But anyway, I did have that last night, but I stayed under my calories. I'm doing really good, you guys. The only thing I am going to let you know, intermittent fasting is not easy. So um, I went extreme and I eat between 12 and 6. Um, so that's pretty extreme because after 6 p.m. last night, like I can't eat anything till 12 today. It that's it, it gets hard. I think your body will get used to it, but right now it's hard because yesterday about 10, I was like, oh. But I've got my water. I wanted to show you. I think I showed you before, but this thing, I drink uh, that whole thing, which is 128 ounces, and I drink that every day. This is the um, MCT oil I get. I get it at Target. You can also get it on Amazon. I think on Amazon, it was like $1.20 cheaper. Um, it's bulletproof, uh, brain octane, C8 MCT oil. Um, what I will tell you is do not drink this on an empty stomach. I did put some in my coffee, which I'm going to sip, you know, for the next couple of hours because it's iced coffee. I made me a cold brew and I don't buy the cold brew. It's too expensive. I make my own coffee. When it cools down, I pour it in a pitcher and put it in the refrigerator and make my own. Um, I add a little bit of that Tarani <clears throat> sweetener and then a little bit of the skinny syrup I have, the vanilla or the mocha, whichever one I want, just a tiny bit in there. And I add this, and I brought it to work uh, with me today because probably at lunchtime, after I eat, I will probably take a little another teaspoon of this. Um, but if you have not used it or not used to MCT oil, please do not do it on an empty stomach. I'm telling you, I tried that yesterday morning. Without my coffee, I just took a tablespoon of it, and for about 15 or 20 minutes, I was doubled over. My stomach hurt that bad. I'm not even kidding you. So, you know, get your body used to it and everything. Um, yesterday at lunch, it was cold here in Texas. Um, a little bit drizzly, not too bad. I, I still took a, I took a 20 minute uh, power walk. Uh, so that was good. It was, I was cold, but um, I, I got through it. Uh, you just gotta make sure. And then I keep my little calendar here. I don't know if you can see the little check marks I've got on there. What those check marks are is because my hours of work, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to three. Well, I'm here till 4.30, but three is the last one that I have the number for. <clears throat> each check mark of those, though, each hour I do get up and I do 10 squats. Now, yesterday I missed one, two, three of the hours. Uh, I was I was busy. Uh, there is still no excuse. I still try to get up and do it, but unfortunately, yesterday I did not. So I still did 10, 30, 40, 50, 60. I did 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I did 60 squats yesterday. Now, on Monday, I did do 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 90. No, I did 90. And then an eight. I only did an eight and a half minute walk. So yesterday, I did a 20, uh, 20 minute walk. So that was pretty good. I'm staying under my calories. Um, yesterday, I think I had probably about 1,350. Monday, I had just a little over 1,000. So today I'm going to try to keep it right at about 1,000 again. And then uh, Thursday I can go up a little bit in calories. I'm going to do like lower calories one day, high, a little bit higher, and then low like that. Um, but, I'm, but I feel good. I really do feel good. I'm sleeping good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, so if you have any questions or anything, let me know, um, you know, that I can answer for you. But I'm doing really well so far. Um and that's it. That's all I wanted to tell you today. Uh, I, like again, I will not be eating until lunchtime. And I'll show you for my first meal. What I usually have is like these little things here. These are olives. And then I'll have a bag of these protein chips. And then I have an ounce and a half of sharp cheddar cheese that I have with that. And in here, I just have little, uh, some bacon that I cooked. Um, but my calories through after eating all of that, um, and that's my first meal, and then I'll have a snack. So one of those will be my snack, either the bacon or the chips, like about 2.30 or 3. Um, but still, before I, I mean, by the time I leave here, I've, I've eaten about 400 calories, you know, so that's not bad. And then I get my walk in, drink that, that gallon of water is usually gone by the time I leave, because I can't be drinking the water too late, because I don't want to be getting up all night going to the bathroom. Um, anyway, so, and, and then, like I said, I have my cold brew in here, and my MCT oil, so... 
everything's going good so far you guys i feel really good um like i said the intermittent fasting is a little bit of a challenge so start out a little bit easier if you can only do start out with 12 hours you know going 12 hours without eating do that and then and then start upping it okay um and then get 16 hours 18 hours because i think i'm at 18 hours and it's a little bit tough. I mean, these people that do the OMOD, you know, the one meal a day, I know, that's a little bit, I think I'd really, really, really have to get used to that. Uh, get my, I'd have to work my way to get used to that because that's, no. Mm -mm. And and it's hard for me because I'm used to getting up in the morning and eating. I'm, I'm a breakfast, like I get up and I can eat breakfast food. No, it's not so much breakfast food, but I like to get up and eat. But I've done good, and I like right now, I'm not hungry. I'm not even thinking about it, so I'm just going to have my coffee, get some work done, and then see how the day goes. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you guys go because i got to get started here at work. It is 6.02 a.m. I love you guys all. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe so you can come back and join this journey with us. Um, and don't forget to comment, share, and like the video, you guys. I love you all. See you next time.